everybody. Ah. We're playing bully. 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 This is a Rockstar game. This is our first Rockstar game, actually. Jimmy, Manhunt. Please yeah. It's our second Rockstar game. Manhunt doesn't count. Manhunt counts. He's bald. James? I'll kill you. Who are you? Mom, I thought he's you bald too. Like yeah, but he's a kid. Did you see the fan? Nice the fan theory that yeah, uh, it's him. Yeah, Jim, uh, Jimmy Hopkins is James Girl Cash. I didn't. I did not. I did. What AI? Okay, rich guy. Shut the this is an AI-made uh, game. I hate you. How can you support this, Robert? Because AI is fine when it's made for stuff like this. When it's used as an algorithm, that's okay. You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you two little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our... It's weird how this is supposed to be. Scholarship Edition is like a slight remaster. And I feel like it looks like a little worse <laughs> than the original. Uh, I told Robert already... They erased the dog said. I, I told Robert already, uh, I only played like... A little bit of this game, according to Robert, was like the ending towards the ending of the first section. Uh, the bully geeks, and I have beat this like three times. I love it. I know a lot of the story. If there's only a few missions I get stuck on, I should be able to get blow through this. Though. Keith actually liked this game. I remember him talking about it a lot. It's fucking good. He was allowed to play this, but he wasn't allowed to play Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, because Avance is is very like kitty. It's not like there's no blood or anything. A lot of extra loading screens that were not in the original. I've not played Scholarship Edition. I've only played the uh, OG. Oh my God! What the hell? You could press A on that loading screen. They did not tell me that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh right. that's happened to me a couple of times. Yeah, but I'm waiting for something to load. Like at least put the symbol oh, A up or something. P. Davidson's dating Janet Ortega. No, it was a. Uh, Rumor. Uh oh. You must be the Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Robert would be on Welcome the watch if that happened. Academy. Yeah, P. Davidson's days would be numbered. Sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy Him here. and himself. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because I do think he's kind of funny. No. I've got Why? You don't like him? Not really. I like his SNL stuff, but his comedy is actually funny. I haven't seen his comedy actually. I've seen him in like. Oh, shows. That's, there, yeah, boy. that's where he's not in his funniest. The his, the, when he was on the roast, I think it was a Justin Bieber. That was fucking amazing. I didn't watch that one. Rob Lowe, uh... That was when I was kind of getting out of the roasts. I say, Rob Lowe went after him, and then when he got there, he was just like, you fucked a 16-year-old and filmed it. Basically. <laughs> it was like, oh, well, I mean... <laughs> I gotta beat you. Oh, it doesn't matter. Is this like Grand Theft Do I? Yeah, I Grand Theft you're gonna hear that, sorry. San Andreas. I'm gonna just not do that unless I absolutely have to, because that's gonna be really annoying. Yeah, legit, the super sprint. I think this came out for uh, San Andreas, though. I don't really remember. Get through this fucking beginning shit. I run Toronto Sun titles, fuck. Damn it. Bastard. I know, how could I? Would you kiss him? The fucking principal? Yeah. No. Speaking about Jimmy Hopkins, yeah. Um, you know who he always reminded me of? Who? You remember Big Jordan? Yeah, I could see that. Dude, we went to school with. That was just the. He acted just kind of like how Jimmy does. Yeah. And he kind of looked like him. Yeah, I about to say, he looks pretty much just like him with like a little bit more hair. Um, speaking of also, I seen him the other day riding his bike. He's rough. Me and him used to ball dag each other. I don't know why. Ball tag. Yeah, that's all I remember. Is just fucking just always punch each other in the nuts. Very well, mature children. Back in our day. You ball tag each other. I used to do it to everybody. Except for me. He hit me in the bladder. Every time. You're taller than me. I'm sorry. It's weird with Benson, I would hit him in the nuts just fine. I'd always hit your bladder though. Who knows? Keep it clean. We'll clean it for you. Oh my god, I know. These fucking hints are useless. I'm glad they put that in there. There's a mission for Halloween night that if you go to sleep, you'll miss it. Huh. Yeah. 
I did it on one of my playthroughs accidentally because I didn't think it would happen. I like how you, uh, well, that makes sense that you wouldn't be able to do it if it was Halloween night. Yeah. Halloween, Halloween night. But anyway, that you would think they would just make it so you couldn't go to sleep. Yeah. So in this, so you haven't played it really right. Not really. No. Uh, if you don't go to bed by two, you pass out. Oh. And then you just wake up sometimes in your underwear if you wish, uh, pass out outside. I think you'll lose your money if oh. you're outside. Remember, follow the X on the radar to, to reach, reach your, your goal. goal. Let's hope it's not like the freaking arrow from uh, Dead Rising. Why? You play the Dead Rising games? They're the fucking like arrow guide thing. Um, oh no! Especially yeah, if yeah, you were in one is, of the vehicles, I, it was just all over yeah, the fucking place. Yeah, it would never go. I yeah, never mind. I remember now. It was never where it needed to be. Um, I do know for a fact that I hate the bad guy. Uh, Gary. Yeah, in this game. So I have a story with that. We will talk about it when he shows up. <laughs> Are you a Gary? Robert, you're so good at this. Were you a bully in high school? No, I, I literally played this like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> he was a bully in high school. I was. Uh, I was a gun. <laughs> he made me cry once because he dodged my graham cracker. No, but Kevin did get a lot of it. Honestly, the last time I think about it, I'm just like, I don't know why he just yeah, decked uh, me all in our the friends face. are ditches. Uh, ditches. Bitches. All of our friends are bitches. Oh my god, just die, Jesus Christ. Uh, they burned my leg hair. I had his uh, name fucking carved into my arm. I carved in his arm. Uh, I cut his jeans to where... Oh. That's why he wasn't dying. I forgot about that. Uh, I cut his jeans into shorts, and uh, I pulled out every single of his hoodie strings. And that's just a small amount. I had jorts. At least it wasn't Adam, though. Every single day for lunch, I would kick it, his child from my room. So it could, could have been worse. I remember you use him to beat a box. Yes. Well, that's not for me playing, that's just for me watching other people's yeah, retrospectives Russell, and stuff. Russell becomes a good guy. Because I actually really do enjoy the bully. Um lore i don't know why i never got it okay nah. and the theories hey, you're the new kid. yeah what's it to you friendly aren't you give me a break loser even you the way he just talks to him you're all pent up go easy or they put you on medication they did to me boy you nearly sent me insane that's fascinating so not everyone heard his voice so similar to the devil's carnival thing with tech nine i swore like 100 percent there was no way i was wrong that that was daniel tosh I was told so many people. I didn't find out until I was playing it recently when I Googled it because I was like, was I right about that? No, some fucking random dude. I don't know who he is. Oh my god. He's barely been in anything else. He's been an extra in everything else. So, for you guys who don't know, Robert gaslit me from like 2014, 2015 uh, until recently because we watched this show. It was called Devil's Carnival. And he said the, the devil was it was devil in it was Tech Nine. Because the voice sounded like him. It's not. It's some white guy. It's uh, Terrence the Dune. It's a guy who made. The fucking, guy who makes it. Yeah. So I thought, in high school, I in like throughout my teen years, I just had this thing of like, if I was confident about a fact, where I'm like, there's probably no way that's wrong. I just went with it and told people. And similar with this, I have told people that Daniel Tosh was the bad guy in Bully. I've told a lot of people. That. I think you. I actually remember you telling me. Y yeah. But uh, or rather, it's come up. And I, everyone I might have told that too. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure you even told Jack's brother. Yeah. Can you blame me though? Bro sounds like Tosh. He really doesn't. He, I guarantee though that's what they were going for is like trying to make because he was big at the time. They're trying to make him sound like that's Tosh. Ty, uh, Tucker. Tucker based his high school career off of Tosh.0. It is true. 
Also, this game used Femboy, so that's... I oh, remember first in that. Yeah, he just called him a Femboy. He said, the uh, Bulwark's own Femboy! Whoa. Yeah. So many firsts. If you have the subtitles on, which I wish I fucking did, it says F E. Don't you turn it on? I keep forgetting to turn it on. <laughs> but it spells it F E M M E, oh. like that instead of F E M. Uh, so for my sister's birthday, um, last year I gave my sister my PlayStation Three and um, The Last of Us because she really wanted to play it. And for her birthday, I gave her my PS Four and The Last of Us Part Two. Um. And she just messaged me because I don't, I don't know how far she, along in the game was. She said she was almost over. Mm. She was almost done with it, but that was, like, before the Abbey switch. So I have no idea. Again, I've never played this game, so I have no idea where that's at, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I, I don't think she was. But she just uh, texted me. Um, the anti-Joel and Ellie in this game is pissing me off. Uh, I want to write a strongly worded letter to fucking... Uh, uh, not mad dogs. Uh, naughty dog. Naughty dog. Well, when I found out that the entire game, it makes sense why the story makes no fucking sense. It's uh, an allegory for the Israel-Palestine conflict, saying that Palestine's wrong. Is it? Getting mad. Yes. Neil Druckmann is a huge, like, Israel supporter. I thought it was just, like, a power fantasy that he had. Yeah, that's what, I mean, that's what it looked like, too. And he was, but... like, a self-insert, like, the guy who's, uh... Who, who, with that, that, with that awkward sex scene? Yeah. It's him. It's supposed to be him. Yeah, but after I found that out, I'm like, oh, that, that makes so much sense. Like, he's viewing the story through that lens. I was like, that's why it's like the way it is. Robert told me that, um, he used to, uh, J.O. to that scene where that, that one girl is making out with Jimmy. Say J.O. Jerk off. Yeah, but just say jerk off. Oh. There might be kids watching. That's not true, but the fuck was she? Kids not watching. Uh, when, when I was a, a teenager, this one was the hottest one to me, 100. percent The nerd? No, she's one that because the ones in like the stripe like, or like the dark green like that. Those are just like the normie kids that aren't really part of a faction. Uh -huh. So she's not even part of the story. Oh, yeah, I was like, she's like the hottest one when I was a teenager. Me mad. Uh. <laughs> Also, he's gay. I was talking about the chocolate uh, okay. girl, by the way. When the chocolate girl makes out with him. Oh, Eunice. Yeah. 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 Her. yeah. Well, I figured I would tell real facts since you're fucking throwing out bullshit. He's like, oh, this is kind of hot. Erm, <laughs> actually. Oh, good old rock star. Really. She looks like Bobby Hill. Literally, yes. Yeah, literally, the joke is that <laughs> she's fat and she's ugly. That's the only reason she's in this game. She has, like, no other story. <laughs> Hey man, fat and ugly. What was this? Two thousand five? Yeah, that's why I said a good old old rock star. Kids these days are too sensitive. <laughs> like it's weird that like that 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 in here, but then also they did make one of the bullies gay. I thought it was kind of all right. Picking and choosing your battles. Well, is it a joke that he's gay? No, because you can just... It, it's not really in the game, it's just if you talk to him enough, he's like, want to play shirts and skins, and you can kiss him. Hmm. That was close. It was actually October 17th, 2006. Oh. I thought it was five. That sounded right. <laughs> yeah, so if there's things in here that don't, they aren't really vibing, this is a different time, man. It was literally 20 years ago, almost. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're old, Kevin. <laughs> For your, so this is the part. This is the scene he J O. Yeah. Well, stop saying J O. That bars you more than the lie. Say jerk off. <laughs> you shoot fat ropes. Thank you. I prefer that. And now we get to meet all the factions. Woo! Or showing all the factions, whatever. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerd. Of course, the oh, also, oh, oh, I'll wait till the cutscene's over. What? I was gonna say. Swiping the subtitle on. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> um. She also <laughs> fucked herself because apparently you can collect things to help you when you go through the Abby mission or whatever. Yeah. And she hated Abby so much. She's like, well, I'm not gonna fucking go out of my way. 
or at least try to I hate when I do that in a game where like a character I hate ends up being important later and then I'm like, oh fuck, I didn't even care to take care of them. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Yeah, that fucking sucks ass. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Ew, they fixed his face. Was he the Man. same guy who made the first Last of Us, or is it a different guy? No, the same, same dude. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So the first one, I actually really enjoyed Oh, the yeah, because like, like, the Uncharted's are also really good. Oh, you did Uncharted too? Yeah, that's Night Dog. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I know, but... Well, but Neil, yeah, he's like the d director of all of them. It's just he decided to be smart, and that's what fucked him. That he's not. That fucks over like ninety percent of things. And like when Last of Us Two came out, I forget what happened, but some it's basically just like how the Hamas shit started. That that shit happened around the time Two came out, and that's why he wrote wrote it the way he did. Because like one, it's just a fucking apocalypse story, and then two, it's just like you can tell it's trying to say something else. Mm. Um, so, like, this has nothing to do with what we were just talking about. Yes. <laughs> in Magic, yeah. do they have, um, cards that are, like, full art, um, signature cards signed by, like, the artist? Yeah. Someone was talking about how they should bring that into Yu-Gi-Oh! I agree. I think full art should be in fucking yes. Yu-Gi-Oh! I think that should be Love any fucking God. card game. If yeah, that's a like, card game, do full That arts. is what they like about One Piece. They're pretty much all full arts, mm -hmm. with just the words on top. I They should all be like that. Bob from my moving company, who was my my boss, I guess if people don't know, he moved the dude who uh, one of the dudes that does the magic cards, and uh, he had this um van like art mural on it that he drew himself that was like sick as fuck. It had like a bunch of, like dragons and knights and shit. I thought that was, was really cool. cool as fuck. Yeah. And he had like pretty much like because he drew old art for him, he pretty much had like any card he wanted. They would just like give him and stuff. So he had just like. Uh, tubs of magic cards. Does he have Black Lotus? I did ask, but probably. The Power Nine. I think Yu Gi Oh should do something like that. No, no, they shouldn't. I think every card game should fucking, have Power Nine. Uh, Critical just fucking opened one of the the sets that had the Black Lotus in it, and it was a hundred thousand dollars. The set or the it was a uh, it was just like a like the Yu Gi Oh like how they have boxes. It was that. Okay. And he bought one of those. And it was a hundred thousand. Did you get the Black Lotus? No. The dude that was with them, it reminded me of me and you, because, like, Charlie was just, like, like, they, for one, they had, like, this mat that was, like, basically had the, the, uh, feeling of sandpaper, and he was, like, oh, slide that card, like, one part, he was, like, slide that card over to me so I could see it, and he just went, like, he put it on there and slid it with his fingers, he's, like, yeah, just scratch it, that's fine, just fucking throw it. <laughs> and the whole time he was getting mad at Charlie, like, the pack is wrapped in plastic, and there's a certain point you have to poke it where the booklet is that tells you how to play, and he took, like, a fucking kitchen knife, and was jabbing at me, he's, like, you are gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> this is six figures we have on the table. <laughs> That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> Legit. Speaking about card games, though, um, Pokemon's starting to go down, so that's cool. Thank for, for people who are collecting. Fuck. I say how every market is just fucking fucked, because we were talking about the video game one earlier in the, uh... Oops, shit, <laughs> didn't mean to do that, whoopsie. In the, uh, basement, and it's like, cards are the same way. They're both fucking fucked. Yeah, thanks, COVID. That's when it started, that's all mm, No, yeah, I mean, it. the... PS5 shit that happened too. Oh my god, the scalpers. I, I just love the ones that got fucked. Because fuck you. I know it would be hard to regulate, but it's weird to be. There's no regulation on any kind of secondary market for fucking anything. It just is the fucking Wild West with that shit is weird to me. Free market, baby. Yes, yeah, so that's the problem. It's like everything else is regulated. That though. <laughs> Who cares? It, it really wouldn't be that hard. All you have to do is. Um, one per person, two per person. Mm. Uh, and then they wouldn't be able to get their overstock unless, you know, they bought directly from the uh, distributor. Yeah. And it's hard to say, because I would be like, oh, make sure it's retail price, but if you buy up every single one like they did with the PS5, there isn't a real retail. But it should be like, whatever the retail, like, stated price is, that's what you should have to, that's like the max you can sell it for. I think that's what they do with, like, card games, like, um, the MSRP. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, that shit. That's that's really cool. Because that's how uh, typically they 
the consumers, not the consumers, the uh, the sellers sell the stuff for. Like Walmart, you can go buy a pack of Pokemon, well, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh cards for like five bucks, and that's what the MSRP is. So a lot of the times, companies will listen to the uh, suggested price. It's just the the companies will, not yeah. the scalpers. Not the people, yeah, not the people that's causing the problem. But also cards too, how like, shit can just jump randomly. If it wants, it can just fall randomly. If it wants, like there's no fucking like keeping it like consistent. Well, that's on buyers. Call that a Shit. God, you press the wrong button. Yeah, but like I said, it would just be nice if there was some kind of like, hey, can't do that. <laughs> Shit. Keep fucking tapping. If we all band together and just didn't buy things, uh, the market would crash. That is literally the problem is that the, but there's people who just won't. They'll just be like, mm -hmm. that's just the way it is. Let's mm deal -hmm. it. Do the same thing with like fucking like microtransactions will never go away. Uh, as soon because I think it was EA. I'm not positive. I mean, I don't really play EA games anyway, so it doesn't really affect me. Yeah. But they're talking about putting ads in the game. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. I'm like, uh, as soon as that happens, I'm done with. Yeah, that's whatever the, company that's gonna be done. Uh, they're they're also talking about adding like. Um, AI in card games, like mm. getting the art from AI and uh, the the effects and stuff like that. As soon as that comes out, that that's happened. Like, uh, if Yu-Gi-Oh, okay, <laughs> that's a nice little dance movie, didn't they? Uh, if Yu-Gi-Oh comes out and says, "Oh, um, we do this now," I'm done. Mm. I mean, they're already scummy. And don't like put the artist in the anywhere in the the card. Well done. Try again, Shit. James. Keep it up. Speaking of uh, fucking, did you put well? Yeah. Of uh, AI shit. Druckmann uh, was one of the people who was like. He said, "Oh, I, I'm so excited for AI, and then basically they're gonna start using um, that wall." Oh, there's no. Way. There's no. Way. Um, Woman, <laughs> they're not. Uh, they're gonna start using it to uh, write. Sort of slang, yes? um, this is so hard to do while talking. You writing stories using AI? Yeah. Never did well. And he's like excited to do it. I'm like, fuck you, bud. You just gotta. Uh, us as a society have to like. Learn how to spot those and then uh, avoid them at it's, all costs. It's so easy. There's so many articles now. They're also like, is me one? Well done. Uh, I'm afraid that's not English. Um, articles are written by AI and it's like so so easy to spot. Yeah, I love them too because um, I think it was Wow. I think Wow was trolling one of the AI journalists and they they were like, oh, I can't believe Schmorbo Schmorbinson's back in oh, Wow. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. fucking made the thing because so many people on Reddit was all like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so the AI people were like, yeah, Schmorbo Schmorbinson. I remember that. That was great. Oops. What about LOL? I already did that. I also did emo. And that was the one. I already passed. I'm That's right. kind of... See if I can. I try to do all of them. It's hard. It's Mo, it's a name. Probably don't not. Think yeah. that's in the dictionary. Lum, Lum, Willow. There's no lie. Willow. Do you get bonus if you got them all? No, you just get a, you get a hundred percent. So I think it changes. It's if you want to be a fucking overachiever, do it. You don't get anything for it though. So I got what I need. That's all that matters. What do you need? Oh, no! Oh! Mm. Ah, I didn't see it, damn it! Well done, James. Well done, indeed. Oh, oh yeah, James, you did it. Yay! D stands for diploma. Do you know the microtransaction shit, though? The, the, you watch YouTube shorts, right? Yeah. I, say, I don't know if you ever saw the dude pirate software. He has, like, the long black hair and glasses. He shows up a fucking shit ton for mine. Uh, he worked for uh, Blizzard and shit, and he was talking, because someone was bringing up, like, why... Uh, oh, why are these in every game, blah, 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 same shit everyone complains about. And he was like, 
So I worked for, like, him and his team worked for two years overtime on StarCraft II, oh, some fucking subtitle. And he was like, we did two years overtime working on that game. And he was like, WoW released this $15 mount. And he was like, it sold more than the entirety of StarCraft II. So he was like, it's a fucking money printer. They'll never stop doing it. Well... I don't think, and this might be an unpopular opinion, and I might get canceled for it. Oh, God. I don't think skins and stuff like that is a bad microtransaction. That's an optional thing. I. But if you lock story or weapons or stuff like that yeah. behind it, yeah, that's shitty. Then, then I have a problem with microtransactions. I used to think that, but honestly, getting this shit, like shoved down your throat is really annoying even if it's just cosmetics where like I get locking cosmetics but like locking everything remotely cool or to the point that you can't get any other cosmetics without buying it is shit I hate that well that's uh, again talking about Blizzard um and I don't like Blizzard uh I liked their loot crate system you got points and you were able to unlock. You were even able to unlock the the ones you had to pay for. Yeah, like it was an ass system, but it worked. But now it's like it's impo almost impossible to get skins without either playing the game twenty four seven or just buying them. No, I didn't play two, so it's it's trash. It's fucking trash. Mine was from Overwatch one. I know, and I I kind of really miss that. Even that was a shittier system. At least you could just get them in game if you really wanted to. You could just level up and get the loot crates.